I knew Jeffrey Bava quite well. For 10 years I spent every weekend at Lunuganga. I met him every day. I, because of Jeffrey, I also got to know uh, Minette de Silva, Ulrich Plesner, and uh, cutting across, I got to know Ina de Silva, Barbara Sansoni, and Lucky Senenaka. So these were my heroes. And except for Andrew Boyd, I seem to have known all of them and worked and it comes as a shock to me that it appears that they are no longer there, you know. So, uh, so they, f there are various ways of doing things, influence and uh, doing things and their value systems influence me in the way I work. No, very simple. I think a lot of people who think they know color talk a lot of nonsense. That includes a lot of theoreticians in the West, like uh, Goethe and so on and so on and so on. I knew certain simple things which one could understand. The first thing came from somebody like Jeffrey Bava, who said, it's nice to have gray, like gray flows and gray tones. Uh, except in a dull day in the tropics, it looks sad. So adding a little yellow or samara, the word we use is samara, peps up the environment. But Jeffrey himself was very scared of color. He said you should use, uh, when Ina asked him, Jeffrey, what color should I use? He always said you should use black, white or gray. Okay. Now the other absolute exponent of color was Barbara Sansoni. I mean, for her, there was a book called uh, by, by Joseph Albers called The Interaction of Color. And from 1960s, she, she saw the warp, warp and weft of color in the fabrics of barefoot. So she had things like uh, yellows, reds and whites advance, blues, greens, and blacks recede, right? And she used her understanding to paint a building, okay? Now, I would also go on to say that she is the only person whom I know who has managed to put their knowledge of color into actual buildings. All the others are just intuitive uh, color to attract or to disappear. Like for example, for me she said for this house, uh, because it was a bit plain, so I asked her and I was not a scared of color and she said, look, if you look at the brown of the rafters here, these are uh, palu rafters, that there was uh, orange and blue. So if you painted the ceiling blue, you brought the sky into the house. And then you saw, she had done three streaks of sunlight which are the main beams. Then she said, if you per paint these turquoise, the columns, you bought the garden into the house. She had a, and then she said, I paint each door and window like a jewel. She had just come from Samarkand and she had that understanding of color. For me, it appears I'm using the same material, but she sees things and she has an algorithm body to look at color. I mean, she can take the same painting and do it in a way that the columns advance. But if she paints the backgrounds pink, the backgrounds advance. So she's the, and I'm glad I have known her and she had been happy to paint about three, four of my buildings. Okay, particularly the youth village in um, uh, for SOS Piliandala, where depending on the direction you walk, the building expands or contracts. And I, I, have, I don't know anybody else who uses color that understandingly. Yeah, I will tell you, I mean, um, this is the umbrella, this is Arthra magazine. This is the Avarivela Ambalame in um, uh, Gampaha. That's the magazine, okay? 
Now the thing is, I generally people say buildings relate to nature, but I think that I dis I I will go beyond that. Like this Ambalam in Gampa, and there's another favorite Ambalam called Karga Gedar Ambalam in Kurnagala. I for me those are integral parts of nature. They they don't relate to each other. But they are integral parts of nature. Okay, so I think this Avarivala Ambalam, which is now getting built up on the sides, relates not only to the paddy field, but it also has a stream running by its side, and it's a perfect example of how buildings could be, right? Unfortunately, we are losing that identity very quickly. If you particularly look at Colombo Fort. Now, art doesn't stimulate my architecture. I always thought that when I was studying, that I would always share half my funds, what my earnings with artists. I must say, I find um, being with artists far more. Inspiring them being with architects, you know, uh, because uh, architects tend to theorize and conceptualize too much. Uh, but I can very easily relate to art, and I can relate to mainly abstract art. It's not realistic art. I relate to. I relate to abstract art, and abstract art is a, another way of understanding. Now, for example, there are these two Bikku Sumedhas. I mean, Bikku Sumedha is a German artist who was a very well-known artist, but he came and become became a monk, and he did uh, Buddhist art. And I think his he, if I had to use the the older generation, I would easily say Bikku Sumedha was easily the best artist, right? Again, my choice is not what others think is important. It is what I can relate to with my readings of art and architecture.